like to answer some questions um, about planning for parties and using sparkling wine. A bottle of sparkling wine, such as the Domaine Carneros Brut, contains five or six glasses in it. So if you're just inviting people for a single glass or for a toast, a bottle will do it. I find though two bottles for six people is a better match. If I'm having people over to my house for dinner, I always have two chilled bottles and I think six people is just about the most perfect dinner party. A bottle of sparkling wine goes with virtually everything um, and because it's crisp and refreshing, it keeps your palate fresh and the food really tastes good. One of my favorite sparkling wine and food pairings is Dungeness Crab and Brut. If I were going to have um, scallops, I might use the Brut also, but I might shift to the Le Rev. If I were going to do smoked salmon or, or salmon, um, in general, I would serve that with the Rosé, not only because it's a, a delicious counterpoint, but it's also just a beautiful color combination. One of the pairings that I was most surprised with was that I find the Brut, which is 60% Pinot Noir, goes very well with beef or pork dishes, that it stands up to them, and it's a very different and rather delightful combination. Sparkling wine is often associated with a sense of magic. Where do those bubbles come from? How do we capture them? But they are formed by yeast that is put into the wine um, with a little bit of pure cane sugar, and there's a fermentation that takes place. The yeast consumes the sugar and creates the bubbles. Then the yeast go to sleep, and what's left behind is this wine that's full of these little tiny bubbles. And the fineness of the bubbles is a real symbol of quality in a sparkling wine because the bubbles change the texture of the wine. Big bubbles give you a hard pop, like soda pop, and the fine bubbles of a really fine sparkling just give you a little tingle or tickle or creamy sensation. I believe I have one of the most fabulous jobs in the world. I get to make uh, sparkling wine, I get to see people enjoying the sparkling wine I make, and then I get to enjoy the sparkling wine I make. If I were going to give advice to other people on how to relax and enjoy their life more, I would say always have a chilled bottle of bubbles in your fridge, open it, and when you come home at night, pour yourself a glass. You might even want to share a glass with someone else. Uh, but just a glass gives you that aha feeling that this is my time. This is the time to relax and enjoy the other side of my life away from work. I have a ritual of Friday night. My husband and I always have a bottle of sparkling wine. In the summertime, we sit out on the deck. In the wintertime, we sit by the fireplace. I even wake up on Monday morning, happy to go off to work. I love doing just little twists on the classic brute. For instance, one of my favorites is to just add a very thin slice of pear to the glass. With the rosé, sometimes I'll add a few pomegranate seeds, which is very pretty, or a very thin slice of a persimmon. The Le Rev is a wine that I refuse to add anything to other than my best friend or my honey.